Hello and welcome back to the Mindful Innovator Meditation Series. In the last two sessions, we talked about the first key variable, the problem. And we talked about how we can identify problems and then also make sure that we are identifying the right problems. Now we're going to turn our attention to the second key variable, the creative solve. We will discuss creativity, collaboration, and harnessing the power of a great idea. But first, let's look inwards on creativity. 80% believe creativity is important in the workplace, but yet only 33% of us believe that we are creative. How can something so important in the workplace have so many in people? And with this stat in mind, I think it's fair to say that either you or someone that you interact with every day believes that they are not creative. But I have not yet met a not creative child. And we were all once children, so my guess is, is that you and everyone that you know are creative. It's just that we've forgotten this along our way on our journey of being an adult. As adults, we've been so conscious about staying productive, we have sacrificed creativity to become more productive, which causes us to forget how to consciously be creative. So how do we find that inner child that once played hours with a cardboard box? This meditation will reflect back on a time that you were once creative, to set as a reminder that you can be creative if you just let yourself be. This practice will be using a 285 hertz solfeggio frequency. It will increase our energy, heal us, and rejuvenate us. So let's begin. Start with the breath. I want you to breathe in through your nose for four seconds. Hold it for two, and then out through your mouth for four seconds. And again, breathe in for four. And hold for two. And out for four. Today we're going to do a body scan, and I want you to feel each part of your body along the way just to bring awareness to yourself in this moment. And we're going to start with the toes and work our way up, so when you breathe in, I just want you to feel your toes, whether they're on the floor or pointed straight up in the air. I just want you to feel the toes. On your next breath. When you breathe in, feel your ankles. Feel the energy just spinning around your ankles. And then up to your calves. Your knees. Just feel the sensation that's in your knees. And then work up your thighs. And into the buttocks. Around the hips. Next breath to your stomach and just feel your stomach the sensation breath going up and down maybe the clothes that are on your stomach and feel the chest and along your back and then from your shoulders down your arms your elbows, forearms, to your hands and fingers. Just feel the sensation all the way down your arms. And then come back up to the shoulders and to the neck. On the next breath, bring that scan to your head, go into your chin, your cheeks, lips, 
nose, the bridge of your nose to your eyebrows, your eyes, to your forehead, and then to your ears, and to the top of your head, and to the top of your skull. Now I want you to breathe in one more time, and I want you to breathe in through, almost feeling like it's from your toes. And as you breathe out, out through the top of your head. Great. Now we're going to discuss how do we bring back our creativity. And to do this, we want to go back to a time and place where we were once most creative. So I want you just to take a few seconds here to think about that moment. Just reflect back into your life and when were you the most creative that you ever were? found that moment of your most creative time. And no matter what that moment looks like, don't judge it. That was your most creative time. Now we did that body scan to create awareness. So I want you to be aware of that creative time in your life now and identify what does that space look like. Envision that space. What are on the walls? What is the lighting like? Just describe each part of that moment when you were most creative. What do you smell? Is it a familiar smell from your parents' house? The smell of outdoors from the park? A smell of paints and clay from art class? Just take in all those different smells. And what do you hear? Is there a TV or radio on in the background? Are there kids laughing, birds chirping? What are all the things that you hear in this creative moment in time? I want you to look at yourself in this moment. How does your child self look in their creative moment? Or if you reflected on a moment when you were creative as an adult, that's great. Reflect back in what did you look like in the moment that you were once creative? Just Remember this moment, all the sights and sounds, and stay with the breath, and play out that scene.
Okay, let's wrap up the scene. And after you're done watching this creativity scene unfold, I want you to just envision getting down on one knee and speaking to yourself within this vision. And ask your child self, your creative self, one question. How can I be as creative as you? How can you get back to this creative moment? And come back to the breath and in for four seconds. Hold and out for four. And just reflect on that one question. How can I be as creative as you? Okay, and now back to the breath one last time. Breathe in for four seconds through your nose. Hold and out through your mouth four seconds. I hope this meditation sets a reminder that the next time you say you are not creative, that you remember this moment when you were your most creative. And remember the advice that you gave to yourself on how you can get back to being creative. And as we begin our next day, it will be very easy to slip back into our same productive routines. It'll be easy to forget that we can be creative. So I have a challenge. A challenge to do three things for the next week every single day to stay out of those productive routines and to be able to infuse some creativity, I want you to start your day differently. Each day this week, drive to work a different way if you drive. If not, however you get to the place that you work, just get there differently. Whether it's walking in the house to a different room, walk there differently, ride your bike a different way, whatever it may be. Two, listen to a different genre of music. If you're driving to work, great, put the radio on to a different genre of music. If you listen to hip hop, change it to rock, change it to folk music, just something different. Now these two things are going to allow you to start your routine outside of the routine which then stops the habits of just getting things done just to be productive. So drive to work a different way, listen to a different genre of music, and three, do one creative task every day. That could be drawing, reading a nonfiction book, writing, doing a puzzle, sing, whatever. Just be creative. Do one thing every day. These three tasks, plus the moment that you have reflected on, should absolutely help bring your creativity back to the forefront, to the conscious. 
I hope that you have a great creative week. And thank you for joining this session of the Mindful Innovator Meditation Series.